tire road interaction, exhaust flow, turbulence around A pillar and side view mirror, engine vibration, all powerful sources of acoustical energy that translate into unwanted noise and discomfort to the passengers of any automobile. ANSYS offers a new approach to this major design issue facing the automotive industry. Our deterministic Aero Vibro Acoustics DAVA approach focuses on aerodynamic noise generation and transmission through the vehicle body. This schematic shows the turbulent flow field near the A pillar and the side view mirror, which is predicted by a scale resolving transient CFD simulation to account for the time dependent pressure field acting on the outer surface of the vehicle body. After transforming the pressure field in the frequency domain, it acts as a boundary condition for the side glass that excites vibration. These glass vibrations in turn excite the air inside the closed cabin and the acoustic perturbation travel at the speed of sound through the cabin to the ears of the driver. The DAVA approach comprises three parts. Accounting for sound generation due to transient compressible turbulent flow field simulated in ANSYS Fluent. Transmission of the sound through side glass. Propagation of sound inside the cabin. Transmission and propagation are simulated with a strongly coupled harmonic response analysis in ANSYS Mechanical. The complete workflow can be done in one virtual environment inside the ANSYS workbench. What does the simulation setup process look like? You start with an initial steady state CFD simulation followed by a transient scale resolving simulation in which acoustic source data on the relevant surfaces of the auto body is extracted and stored. After the CFD simulation, the data needs to be transformed into the frequency domain. Therefore, acoustic source data files, ASD from the FFOWCS Williams and Hawking's acoustics module in Fluent will be processed by means of a fast Fourier transformation, FFT. The complex pressure is then exported in an open, public CGNS format. These files act as an input for a harmonic response simulation in ANSYS Mechanical. The frequency domain CFD pressure will be mapped on the surfaces of the auto body and act as external excitation. Let's visualize the typical acoustic sources due to a transient, compressible, and fully turbulent flow field around a vehicle. On this Alfa Romeo Giulietta car, these sources are visualized by means of the Q criterion. Especially in the vicinity of the wheel housing, windshield wipers, A pillar and the side view mirror, the turbulence fields and the resulting acoustic sources are most prominent. Let's validate the simulation results against available experimental data. The simulation results agree closely with the time-dependent pressure data measured experimentally on the side glass. Here you see results for 2 out of 39 pressure probe positions. The flow pressure spectra at the remaining 37 probe positions are also in close agreement with corresponding experimental data. The comparison has been done for two different meshes, representing different resolutions and topologies. The red line represents a fine prism TET mesh the green line a medium-sized prism hex core mesh. They agree well with the black line representing experimental measurements, which is shown at three of the 37 probes. The real part of the pressure, which will be used in ANSYS Mechanical as real part of complex impedance, also called resistance, is shown at several frequencies. The sources are more dominant at lower frequencies. The external excitation makes the side glass vibrate. The deformation shapes are colored by acoustic pressure. These vibrations excite air pressure fluctuations inside the vehicle cabin, which will propagate inside at the speed of sound. The validation of this new method shows excellent agreement with the experimentally measured data inside the cabin. This method helps to understand the sound generation, transmission, and propagation into the cabin. With this knowledge, an engineer is able to mitigate the wind noise, which is the primary noise source at typical highway driving speeds. The complete DAVA workflow combines ANSYS Fluent, ANSYS Mechanical, and ANSYS Acoustics seamlessly inside the ANSYS Workbench platform.
providing a parametric workflow, bi-directional CAD interfaces, and optimization tools. In contrast to statistical energy analysis, which requires specific tests to confirm acoustic-acoustic and structural acoustic transfer functions, this DAVA method is completely based on first principles and no tests are necessary for calibration. The validation confirmed that this is an accurate method, which can be used to accelerate product development because it affects design in an early development stage.